Who is like you, Lord? Who is like you? Majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders. You stretch out your right hand and the earth swallows your enemies. In your unfailing love, you will lead the people you have redeemed. In your strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. Great are you, Lord. Great are you. You are high and lifted up. Your train fills the temple. There is no one like you. Great is your name in all the earth. No one in heaven can compare to you, Jesus. No angel, no power, no being can compare to you. You are more awesome than all who surround your throne. You are more awesome. You are more amazing. You are high above. Your name is high and lifted up. And we declare that you are worthy. You are worthy of our praise and our worship and our adoration. Who is like you, O oh God? There is no one like you, Jesus. You pardon sin. You forgive transgressions. In your unfailing love, you lead us. Your unfailing love surrounds us. You are for us and not against us. Who is like you, Jesus? Great are you, Lord, and greatly to be praised. There is no one like our God. There is no one like our God. We're asking for an awakening over our city, for a revival to break out in Somerset. We want to just declare right now Isaiah 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Somerset, we just declare Isaiah 60, verse 1 over you today, that Somerset would be awakened to the love of Jesus during this time. We say, Arise, shine, Somerset, for the glory of the Lord is shining upon you. That you, Somerset, would know the King of glory. Jesus, I just pray right now that Somerset would be a place that knows you. That it would be known as a city that calls out to you. That seeks your face. Arise and shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Lord, I just pray that, Lord, your church will arise. Your people will arise. And your people will shine. Lord, for the light has come. Lord, we thank you, Jesus, that you have come to earth. Lord, you have come. You have humbled yourself. And you have came as a man. And you have paid the price. And you have took us before the Father. And we've been washed clean. We've been set free. We've been redeemed. And now, we are children of God. We are children of light. Ezekiel 37, 4 and 5 says, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath into you and you will come to life. So, Father of glory, we want to agree with and decree your words over Somerset, Kentucky. We say to the dry bones of this city, hear the word of the Lord and come alive. Father, it's time for Somerset to come alive. We prophesy life to dry bones. The people of this city will live and thrive. God, there's life in your breath and glory in the beating of your heart. So breathe upon our city and cause hearts to come alive and eyes to be open. Those who are dead in their sin, cause them to arise. God, wake up a sleeping church. 
glorify your son through a bride made ready. We want to be clean vessels in the day of your power. So refine us, make us, mold us. Come and make us ready. We are pressing into you, repenting of our sin and our complacency, letting you energize us, Father, with your love and your vision for the earth. Lord, we, I just declare that you would revive the city of Somerset every man, every woman, every child, that you would revive them with your presence. You would awaken uh, something afresh in them, a fresh fire, a fresh wind, just as you blew on the men and women on the day of Pentecost. Father, we thank you for turn the hearts of the parents to the children and the hearts of the children to the parents. God, that is what we declare for this generation. We declare that they would know your beauty and to feel your love. Wake this generation up, God. Wake them up to the revelation that you are raising up a people that will wholeheartedly love you. Make us that generation. I pray, God, that we would experience a personal revival that leads to a revival that moves from person to person and house to house, country to country, and state to state, nation to nation. I ask you, God, to stir up our hearts in abandoned love for you. Let this love be on display and let it grow. Let it grow in us so much that others would want this real love that we get to experience and that we would provoke others to a godlike jealousy that allows us love more than we even knew possible. Somerset, I declare that you would arise. Somerset, that you would shine. That the men and women of Somerset would arise and shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Somerset, arise. Arise and take your place in this hour. You are God, and you are with us. You are on our side. You are fighting for us. You are our commander. The Lord of hosts is your name. So if God is for us, who can be against us? Every wrong will be made right because of your greatness, because of your justice, because of the work you have done on the cross, God. We declare that every wrong will be made right. Every dark thing will be brought into light. We ask for a revival and an awakening as if it is our last request. With the last breath we breathe, Jesus, we know you hear us. Now just wake us up. Wake us up in love toward you.